think about the future, we have to remember that a goal without a plan is just a wish. That's why every four years, the City of Rockingham undertakes a major review of our strategic community plan. We consider where we are today and where we want to be tomorrow so that we can break that journey down into measured and achievable steps to get there. Over the last four years, we've made a lot of progress on the aspirations identified in our previous plan. Have a look. The City's work in tourism was recognised on a state level at the 2021 WA Tourism Awards, winning silver in the Excellence in Local Government category. The award was recognition of the City's extensive efforts promoting Rockingham as a premium coastal destination through our Rediscover Rockingham destination marketing campaigns. While awards are flattering, the proof of the practical success of these campaigns was demonstrated by a 33% increase in day trippers to Rockingham during the COVID period. For several years, the City has partnered with the Rotary Club of Palm Beach to deliver the Rockingham Beach Cup. In 2021, the City provided the club with $175,000 of iconic event funding for the rebranded Channel 7 Rockingham Beach Cup. The event was a major tourism and economic success, attracting nearly 20,000 people and injecting $1.6 million into the local economy. In the economic development space, the City continued to support the local business community through a series of defence-ready business workshops, sponsoring a number of business breakfasts and implementing a range of business-friendly planning processes. We hosted trade commissioners and delegations from India, China, Japan and Indonesia to explore potential opportunities for economic development in the Rockingham region. We have also promoted development opportunities in the Rockingham Industry Zone to national and international companies. been attending the Youth Centre for quite some time. I've been a volunteer for the City since 2018. In that process I got to help with the consultation of the Youth Centre, I got to help design it, which is something really special for me. And now I get to work at the Youth Centre. I come to the Youth Centre as much as possible, like any program that I can, I'll sign up for it. It's a great place to be. I think it's really important that the young people in the City contribute to the youth planning process because they can advocate for things they want, they can participate in what they want, they can help put ideas forward. It's very important that young people contribute to the planning process of where we're going to be in the future because we are the future. This is our future that we're planning. It's important that we have a say on where we're going to be. In 10 years time, I would love for Rockingham to continue growing and becoming this inclusive, diverse space. I'd like for in the future that mental health would be a more comfortable topic around young people, it'd be more accessible and I'd like for it to be a sustainable place to be. In 10 years time, I want Rockingham to look sustainable, green and healthy and everyone has access to the things they need and can help others easier. I'd really love to see some more programs around the environment and like ecosystem management. Also programs and support services relating to mental health sectors as that is a growing cause which definitely needs more attention. City of Rockingham. My name is Red Miller and I'm the club president here at Port Kennedy Soccer Club. In comparison to what the facility was to what it is now, obviously our, our members are really excited to, to have such a state-of-the-art facility. My name is Dan Cole and I'm the president of the White Knights Bad Ivers Cricket Club. 
Yeah, you really need good planning when, you, when it comes to new facilities to ensure that council are, are delivering what's required. Planning is huge, huge. Having that planning phase and that consultation phase ensures that what's been delivered is, is what's needed for the club and for the community. Having our clubs work with council to give them a little bit of insight, to give them a bit of information to pre-plan is extremely important. Our club is so happy with what's been delivered here. We've been able to grow our on-field membership, but the off-field membership and the off-field social activities has been fantastic. Having somewhere that we can call home and that the players' partners, children and everyone can enjoy has been fantastic. It's not something we've had before and it's something that we hope to continue to grow as our club grows. We're really looking forward to our season next year at Karana Reserve. It's going to be a wonderful thing for our community and for our club. It's now my pleasure to open the Ordinary Council meeting at 6pm and welcome all of you. Our rapid and ongoing growth brings challenges for the city to provide services and facilities in a sustainable manner. But growth also brings opportunities, especially in an aspirational community such as ours, where the thoughts and ideas of our residents are essential to how we plan for the future. The future is coming quickly. To be ready for it, we are now developing our Strategic Community Plan 2023. 2033. What do you want our community to be like 10 years from now? How do you think our community should meet the needs of our residents? What's important to you? This is your chance to help shape the ongoing development of our fabulous community.